On this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called writing the dissociation reactions of a polyprotic acid. A polyprotic acid is the one that has more than one hydrogen atom that can be lost in an acid-base reaction. When you have a multiple hydrogen atoms that can be lost in an acid-base reaction, each one of them is lost one at a time, and every time a hydrogen atom is lost, it gets its own acid-base reaction. So to solve this problem, you are going to have to write a series of chemical equations. There's room for, for you to write four equations, but you're not always going to need all four of those blanks. You just need one for each hydrogen atom. So this, because it has two hydrogen atoms, we're going to only need the first two rows here in this problem. If this was an H2H3 um, acid, we would need three rows. If there were four hydrogens, we would need all four rows. Uh, we're going to treat every one of these hydrogen atoms like it's its own equation. So we're going to start by writing the molecule H2SO4. Make sure that you're including the state. The state is always going to be AQ. And you're going to react this acid with water as a liquid. And the product of this reaction, for the product of this reaction, you're going to take one of the hydrogen atoms off of your acid. So it's going to be HSO4 instead of H2SO4. And also you're going to be losing a positive charge as well. You're not just going to be taking off the hydrogen, you're going to be taking off a positive charge, which means that its charge is going to go from neutral down to a negative one. This is aqueous, AQ. If you leave that off, Alex is going to mark the problem wrong. The other product of this reaction is H3O+. That hydrogen atom that was lost, the H+, that was lost by the acid, is going to get picked up by the water. So now it's H3O+. And this is also AQ. It's not water anymore. It's H3O+. So it's not a liquid anymore. It's AQ. Now for your second reaction, what you're going to do is take this guy right here, the conjugate base of your acid, and you're going to start all over again. HSO4 minus AQ, and you're going to react that with its own water molecule. We're writing a brand new equation. So when you're writing the second equation, don't think at all about anything that you wrote up here. Just ignore everything that you've written up here. This is an acid, so again, we're going to get rid of its hydrogen. It's going to be SO4 instead of HSO4, and its charge is going to go down by plus 1 again. It started as a negative 1. We're going to take its charge down one more time, so now it's going to be 2 minus. And that H plus is going to be transferred over to the water, so now it's going to be H3O plus. And that's all you have to do. Don't make these problems more complicated there than they are. Sometimes students look when they're writing the second one, they're like, but I already made an H3O plus and they try to put a coefficient in here or something. Don't do that. Just treat each one of these reactions as if it is its own entity and don't try to add in anything that you've already written like by changing stoichiometric coefficients.